Okay, so what's the D25? What do we use it for? Where does it apply? Um, the D25 have been installed uh, all over the world. There's many substations uh, from uh, one side of the world to the other side of the world. Everywhere I go, I find a D25. Um, D25 has a logic links uh, editor, which is IEC 61113 uh, compliant. And that means that it has five programming languages in which we can build a ladder logic. So whether you're using a block a diagram or whether you're using um, just a textual language, whatever is your flavor, this has been built in our logic links uh, editor and logic links or uh, the previous editor, the older editor is ProLogic in case you see you hear ProLogic, that means it's the same like logic links except it was our DOS based, uh, what I mean by DOS, DOS and Windows. For those new generation, you may not know DOS, but that was previous to Windows. And uh, and uh, Logic Links is our uh, Windows-based uh, uh, application. So it allows you to do PLC functionality. It allows you to do ladder logic, which increases the utilization of the D25 inside uh, any application for either industrial or for uh, electrical application. The IED gateway uh, D25 is uh, very uh, versatile when it comes to protocols. So it have um, about 100 plus protocols between data collection applications and data processing application. A data collection application, or what we call as a client application, acts as a client to all the devices in the field. So <clears throat> basically, you can take all of these devices in the field and send data via the 100 protocols to the D25. And with the D25 aggregating all of these points inside the WestDAC interface node or WIN, then any DPA application or data processing application or server applications, whatever uh, um, you know term that you're familiar with, can be taken take the points from the WIN database and send it back either to a remote HMI or a remote uh, application like the DMS distribution management system or an energy management system or to a local, local HMI that's available in your substation or uh, to uh, a small graphical display that you have in your uh, remote terminal uh, unit setup. Okay. The D25 itself has its own graphical display panel where you can see a mimic of your single line diagram and you can uh, you can control uh, a bay. So it acts great as a bay controller with its own graphical display panel if needed. And as a bay controller, all the devices in the bay are being controlled by the D25 and then all the D25s and all the bays can basically aggregate their uh, communication and uh, talk among themselves if you utilize the 61850 goose messages and it can talk back to a concentrator in your uh, substation. One of the greatest features of the D25 is that it has a power quality monitor. So as a power quality uh, monitor it can uh, take the information about your uh, voltages, currents and uh, basically monitor the sag and swell and show it to you in a graphical representations. And uh, it has the ability to record all of that info and get the digital fold uh, records in files, which can be then uploaded using uh, FTP or uh, safe FTP uh, setup. Um, the D25 with all of these features can also act as a standalone remote terminal unit. So as a standalone remote terminal unit, it can be the only device in your substation monitoring all the uh, devices in the substation and reporting back to uh, either a remote EMS or a DMS or uh, re basically reporting to a local HMI because it has the capability of the 100 uh, communication and it has all of these great uh, features of RS2. It can have RS-232, RS-485 and uh, Ethernet communication, uh, fiber or uh, copper. Okay, um, the D25 has 
uh, made it into an integrated transformer monitoring solution uh, where we have built models inside the D25 that will allow uh, the, the utility or the uh, owner of a transformer to get a very good analysis about the status of the transformer through the collection of information from uh, basically uh, sensors, whether it is the DG, DGA unit, the gas analysis uh, uh, sensor, or the bush uh, bushing sensors or the um, temperature sensors so th the model basically collects all of this information from the temperature the bushing sensor and the gas analysis sensor and the oil uh, uh, gas levels and provides an immediate information to uh, the the owner of a transformer uh, to uh, advise him uh, on on the on the best application and the best um, uh, maintenance required for the D for the uh, transformer. Um, the D25, of course, contains uh, um, protection elements. So for example, definite time protection and breaker failure protection schemes, uh, which can be also utilized uh, for uh, for a substation application. Uh, with this, um, I hope you have a good understanding of all the applications uh, for a D25 and where it can be utilized. As you can see, it can be utilized in many parts of your substation, whether in the bay, at the transformer, uh, not only in a substation, but also in an industrial application. Um, I, uh, I was in an aluminum plant where I've seen the D25 uh, being utilized all over the aluminum plants. Uh, in the Gulf region. In this section we have briefly uh, discussed seven applications of the D25. Uh, the D25 versatility in hardware and software allowed the box to be applied whether it is your distribution, transmission, generation, uh, parts of your uh, uh, electrical grid. Uh, the utility will find this box to be very useful in many uh, applications. We'll show you in the coming videos how to uh, apply the, the different hardware setups, how to uh, look at the different software setups, and how to uh, configure the D25. Uh, I will open the phone for a question and answer session on the application of the D25. Thank you.